do something really quickly here. Um, if you're having error server issues, there's another workaround with this if you have a Mac. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need your connecting cord that came with your iPad, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna notice you're gonna use the program QuickTime. So down here on QuickTime, you would use that. Now, as you can see, right now I'm actually using QuickTime to record, but what you'll do, once you connect your iPad, which you'll see here, here's my iPad and it is connected. On that, once you have this thing open, you are going to go to File, and then you're going to, going to go to New Movie Recording. When this pops up, you're going to get another screen, and your EyeSight camera is going to pop up right off the bat. But underneath this, you'll notice you have a little option down here where you can click and you can change it. So you'll see now I have my iPad, and once I do that, I'm going to move this over here. It will open iPhoto as well, so just be aware of that. Uh, that's exciting. Don't transfer. All right, and we'll move this over here as I'm doing this little portion. But you'll see this works pretty much like Air Server Reflection, any of those other apps. So you can kind of go through this. The only downside is you still have a connecting cord on it, but if you lose um, so, some sort of connectivity, you can still use this, and it works very well. All right, use that.